Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Smart Coding. This is Kartik. Thanks for joining with me today. So today we are going to see how to apply the application insights telemetrics in .NET Core. And I'm going to apply that by creating a new one in the Azure portal. And uh, we'll see how to configure it. It's fairly simple and it's very useful also. So let's take a look. I opened the portal. I've logged in with my username. Okay. So like I said, this is all free. The one that you're going to see now is also free for the uh, non-commercial purpose. So, so let's take a look. So what you need to do is when you create a web app, the application, right, to deploy to the Azure, like I did, you see this, this is the one that I created. I had a demo also earlier. So what we are going to do is we're going to apply the application insights to this project and this project source code is present in the GitHub. This is the URL. Okay. So what this will do, what is the benefit of this application insight? So if you take a look at this essential product um, that was already created here. Okay. So when I hosted this one, if I've integrated this properly, anyone who uses the site, anyone who comes and uses any of this API, all the details are recorded here, right? It doesn't record who uses this, but it records what is the request, what is the response was sent. And if there is any error exceptions or anything that is becoming a bottleneck for the website, it will show here. And this telemetrics is all free. See, if you see this, I have for the last 30 days, right? When I was doing some testing, there were a lot of requests came in, but once we integrate now with this video, right? And then we deploy this, whoever uses this, I'll get to see this. Okay. All right. It's very simple. So there are two ways that you can do a application insights. One is while creating let's see for example let's order this by application id so let's go to this application okay so when you created a app web app you can actually enable this application inside so by default it will create a telemetric id okay so the the one which is created already here has this details okay so you can you can you can go and check the details here this is the instrument key this is the the endpoint that uh, we need to put for the connection string, all these things will be there. This is one way we can do. The other way, like let's say you have you haven't uh, done this at all, like you have created the web app but you don't have this application insights, okay? Or let's say you don't have this web app itself, but you have hosted this somewhere else, okay? But if you want to log these details into the Azure portal, you can still do that. So we're gonna see both. So if you come to the search panel, you can um, type application insights. Once you type this application insights will come. That's a violet color, a purple color one. So right now I have five application insights, correct? So let's create one application insights and uh, see how to integrate this. And also we'll see how this output looks. So the one that I'm going to do is uh, come here, create this. this. This follows when you don't have it. If you already have it, you don't need to do all these things. You just need the instrumentation key and the connection string. So let's let's say users have uh, not done this so far. Okay. So choose the subscription. Choose the resource group. I'm going to choose the one which is already there, and then provide a name. So this is a shopping app, right? So I would say shopping app API. Okay. So the shopping app API. So it's a spelling mistake. Shopping app API. All right, and then this is the region that you need to choose uh, closest to your region. I'm in United States, so I'm gonna choose US East. So US East, and then uh, this is again the subscription detail, and this one is the workspace that is required for all these logs to be stored. Okay, so I'm gonna choose the existing one, and um, if you choose of uh, this for the first time, by default there will be new one created for you okay um all right so you see this new one all right now you can click on review and create and validation passed all good so let's create this and you can see the initialization of the deployment the deployment initiated so while this is doing right we will take a look at the code and see what we have to do okay so i'm going to open okay the deployment itself has succeeded so let's quickly go there and uh, the one that you need to uh, take from here is the instrumentation key. You see this instrumentation key? This is the key that you need. 
and uh, this instrumentation key is already present in the connection string so we can just simply copy this this one and we can use it and I'm going to show you how to configure it so let's open up the solution right right now if you see this one is taken from the github and I don't have anything uh, for the instrumentation key the telemetrics okay now the easiest way to do is right click on the project and you can see something called configure application insights this is one way okay so let me go with this approach and I'll show you the difference what it has done for us okay we don't need to do one single line of code everything is going to be configured so let's click on this and then finally I'll show you what is the difference if you have to do it manually okay so I clicked on it it is asking two options see these two options I'll explain you quickly the second option like you have a web app running on the Azure and you only need to configure it and that is why the second option there are applications and there are in companies where the applications are hosted in the on-premises server IIS and um, they can still uh, you know choose this one the first option and then they can record these information onto the Azure site so only app insights will be present in the Azure they'll be paying some five dollars or something okay based on the, the plan that they choose per month uh, for you guys it's free uh, and then uh, you know that's because their organization that's why they pay so they choose this and then they host the application in the on-premises server but they record all the telemetrics in this one in Azure it will be very nice trust me you have to try this so let's choose this for us it's running in the Azure so I'll choose next and here's the thing see first time if you're doing it will ask you to log in okay to fetch all the information that is there in the Azure portal so I've already logged in you see this learn smart coding at gmail.com because I've logged in it has pulled all the six items and in the initial video we saw there were five items and the last one is the one that we created so I'm going to choose that click on next and you see this this is the connection string name that is uh, it is going to create and one thing you should remember um, we can actually configure these information in Azure portal also so that the keys are not present in the in the solution itself and um, anything that is dot is converted into uh, underscore here that's why while creating itself it is creating properly application sites underscore connections underscore string and this is the connection string if I see okay the, the connection string is present here okay so let's close this I'll show you so let's choose local secret let's say next see it is going to modify the code it is going to install the packages that is required it's going to do everything for us and then if I say finish it's gonna take few seconds and install everything and I'll show you what is the difference okay it's configuring all done close it okay so what has been done right let's take a look at the git changes whatever changes it has done see the first thing that the changes was done is it has installed a package okay it has installed a package called microsoft.applicationinsights.asp.net code this package it has installed after that it has come to application settings so json and you can see it has added this right it has added the application insights connection string and this connection string whatever you're seeing here it's the same one that you saw in the portal and what else there's one more line of code if you come to the startup class so in the startup class we need to configure the telemetrics so here if you see what it has done is it has done services dot and application sites telemetrics and it is giving the connection string to take it from the configuration which is literally present here in the app settings okay so right now all these keys are present here actually we can move these connection string values to the Azure portal that we will see in a separate video even this connection string of the database also can be moved for a secure purpose okay we should not be putting this here all right so now it's done I can actually run this and uh, I'll show you what happens see I'm running it from local okay this still this information is recorded there so I'm gonna run this all right the application has been loaded now let's just hit some endpoint okay I'm going to run this category all even the swagger URL which was loaded also will be recorded okay so I have hit that I'm gonna hit few more thing like let's like say four but it's gives it's okay it's gonna give me 404 so let's give something one 
let's see we get a value yes we got a value so we have a couple of things we have hit right so let's take a look what happens to this in the portal okay so if you see the three requests has come and um, if you drill down to these requests it is going to show you what request see the the one which we loaded in the swagger that also is recorded you see this category that is also recorded you can actually go inside the sample and you can take a look at uh, what was the result was written you see this is the first one we got 404 okay so let's refresh this information and see the more the we try right so get category get category started appearing here it took 655 milliseconds okay you can literally drill down this and if you select a particular request like this it will show you how much time it took you know there was the exception what kind of results we tried how much time it took for the database to respond and what is the you know the environment that was configured this is development environment like that you can see a lot of information and and of course let's let me take a, a look at the existing one and show you how good it is okay so i'm going to choose the application sites which is for the other app here for the restaurant app okay so restaurant app if you see which is already configured i believe there should be a good detail here all right see it's nice right see this application also been used in the angler that you guys are using from my videos and i can see a lot of people are using my apps you see this for the last 30 days i have received a 4.17k around 4170k request and i can drill down and see how many requests came in what was the success rate how long it took you see this all these informations are showing here see which id was used how many times it took one second less than one second all this information right very nice see all that is what this is the beauty of this application insights and um, you can you can monitor you can you can set some alerts further you can do a lot of things all right so we learned something new i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching thanks for watching if you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel like it share it comment it and never forget to click on the bell icon